welcome to Lisbon. Lisbon is the capital and the largest city of Portugal, with an estimated population of 544,000. It is mainland Europe's westernmost capital city and the only one along the Atlantic coast. Now, let's get into Castelo de São Jorge. The mission of the Castelo de São Jorge, as a monument symbolic of Lisbon's identity, combining its tremendously rich past and its present as a multicultural, cosmopolitan, and international city, is to safeguard, research, advocate, and disseminate its cultural riches by fostering access, enjoyment, and enlivening of its heritage, making a decisive contribution to promoting the cultural legacy of this important European capital. It still retains 11 towers, the most outstanding being the Tower of Keep, Tower of Riches, Tower of the Palace, and the Cistern Tower of St. Lawrence. The Tower of Keep was the most important and robust tower of the castle. The Tower of Riches was named as such because it contained the royal treasure, which includes income from taxes and royal rents. The Tower of the Palace adjoined a wing of the palace known as the House of Lions, where two lions were kept. The Cistern Tower of St. Lawrence was named for its cistern used to collect and store rainwater. These towers should be at the top of your list to visit before you leave. Next up, we have the Balim Tower. Officially, the Tower of St. Vincent is a 16th century fortification located in Lisbon. It was built during the height of the Portuguese Renaissance and is a prominent example of the Portuguese Manuelin style. But it also incorporates hints of other architectural styles. The structure was built from lioness limestone and is composed of a bastion and a 98.4 foot, four story tower. The building's plan consists of a rectangular tower and an irregular, hexagonal bastion with elongated flanks that project south into the river. It is basically a large articulated vertical space resting on a horizontal stone slab, covered by masonry enclosures. On the northeast angle of the structure, protected by a defensive wall with bartizans, is a drawbridge to access the bulwark. Decorated in plant motifs, surmounted by the royal coat of arms, and flanked by small columns, complemented with armillary spheres. The Manuline armillary spheres appear at the tower's entrance, symbolizing Portugal's nautical explorations. The decorative carved, twisted rope and elegant knots also point to Portugal's nautical history and are common elements of the Manuline style. This is a sight for your eyes to behold before you leave, so go check it out! Now, we have the Alfama District. The Alfama is the oldest district of Lisbon. It is a delightful maze of narrow streets and traditional houses that meander up a steep hill from the banks of the Rio Tejo to the Sao Jorge Castle. Within Alfama, you'll find many of Lisbon's most iconic historic buildings, including the Sei Cathedral, the Castelo de Sao Jorge, the Panteo Nacional, and the Igreja de Santo Antonio. Historically, Alfama was situated outside the castle walls and was home to many of the city's poor residents. As Lisbon grew into a major seafaring city, the district retained its bleak status as a tough and deprived area, home of sailors and dock workers. Today, Alfama has shrugged off this unfortunate reputation to become a fashionable and artisan district, while retaining its unique character and rich heritage. Alfama is a joy to discover and is often best explored by simply getting lost within its labyrinth of alleys and side streets. Around every corner is a delightful plaza, a trendy cafe, or an independent shop with steep climbs rewarded by stunning panoramic views. Please don't miss out on this amazingly attractive place. Last but definitely not least, Tram 28 is a very old and famous tram in Lisbon. Out of five Lisbon tram lines, four of them provide old tram models. Tram 28 is also among the old ones. Tram 28 in Lisbon is basically a yellow electric carriage. Its floors are preserved with wooden floors and its window frames are timber. Because it is an old tram, it can be used within the narrow hills of Lisbon. As opposed to this, modern trams cannot function on most routes. Luckily, like Tram 28, 
Most Lisbon trams are remodelado trams, which are vintage. Tram 28 passes through many historical places during the journey. The tram starts at the Praco Martin Moniz, passing through Vos Aperario, Portas de Sol, Se, Conce Cayo, Estrella, and the last stop, Campo Aririque. Through Tram 28, you will be able to visit many historic parts of Lisbon by going up and down its sharp hills. This includes the district Alfama as well, where you'll see labyrinths of streets and the Azulejo houses and many others in addition to many restaurants, bars, and nightclubs. Don't you dare leave without taking an adventure on this historical tram. And there you have it, a few of the most popular tourist attractions in Lisbon. For exclusive highlights of more cities you've dreamed of traveling to, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss when we upload new videos each week. Chat soon!